Hi everyone, welcome to another video on the Winter Bolton Railway Electrification Scheme. Been saying that for a few years now, but it is coming to an end, even Deep Pit's coming to an end, but you'll see in this video. So we're going to take an overview of the bridge, we're going to look at the ramps on the inlay side, they are now complete, so we'll get a good fly over them. We're going to look at the asphalt side, where the cobbles are now complete, there's also a nice little touch that Network Rail have done on the asphalt side also. Looking at the inlay side now, and possibly because it is a listed structure, the wall at the top of the ramp has been reinstated almost brick for brick. I remember that being covered in graffiti when I was a kid. Looking at the ramp, like I've said previously, it's a lot longer, but it's a lot less of a gradient now. So it's going to take longer to get to the top, but it's possibly going to be easier to get to the top. Still on the only side here, but we're looking backwards from the direction of the railway station. See, the ramp actually lands in the same place that the old one did. The wall in the middle of the picture is where the entrance to the bridge always has been. But previously, you went straight up and forward. But now you turn to your right when you enter in it now. You can see the footpath down towards Derby Lane also. Then crossing over to the Aspel side see the the ramp is complete on that side also and the cobbles are complete as well now we did actually have a wander down ifield road so we're going to take a closer look at it now with some on foot footage so just on the asphalt side of the bridge just looking towards the new long ramp on the inland side looks meant that well, it's only a ramp, but I think that looks really good. Oh, right, like I've said previously, I really hope that they do paint that bridge. Looks like there's a new drainage in or something. You can see where it comes down like a letter Y. From the actual bridge. Yeah, that's quite cool, that. So looking up to the bridge now, see all the cobbles are now instated. That looks really, really good. Sorry for the wobbling everyone, it's got it high up over the security fence. Now one thing I did notice when I was flying the drone, looks like it's some kind of plaque, information board. You can only see the side of it there. I was hoping that I'd be able to have a quick look at it, but it's covered up. You might be doing some kind of opening ceremony or something. So hopefully that, I'm guessing that's something to do with the history of the bridge. Possibly something to do with the mining, etc. Right, don't know if this is gonna work or not. I'm gonna to attempt to have a little bit of a zoom in on that information board. Obviously, I'd, we're not going to see it. It's covered up. But you can see the... Sorry for the shaking. This is mega zoomed in, everybody. You can see the... It looks like it's something on the estuary of the bridge. Still on the asphalt side here. I've just took a step back to have a look at the ramp. It's going to have a permanent fence around it. Obviously the security fence is going to go, don't worry well you can see it, but there's a green fence actually fitted. So I'll stop people climbing up. Well, did it when we were younger. Shouldn't have done, but we're dead. Just over the top of the security fence, you can see there where that permanent green fencing is going to go up. Got access gate for when they need it. And that's it for this one. There will be at least one more video on Deep Pit all being well because I will have a wander over it when it reopens, basically for old time's sake as well. 
I've got some more projects in the pipeline. I've got another one on railways in the Wigan area. If you can work out what's happening in the Wigan area, you might be able to work out which project that's going to be. But until then, I will catch you on the next one. Thanks again, everyone.